Hi guys. So for today's reading, we are going to be looking into what is the gossip on you and by who. We have three piles today. One, two, three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. And if you guys enjoy this reading, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp or a donation. All of those things are so greatly appreciated. And they are also great ways to give back energetically for the energetic healing sessions that I bring to you guys. So remember to give back what you put out there. You get back yourself as well. So let's get started with pile one. For pile one, let's see what the gossip is on you by who. Sagittarius, optimistic, Libra. Taurus could definitely be an ex-friend or an ex-partner in this pile. And Aries. Definitely could be an ex-friend or an ex-partner in this pile that um, is doing the majority of the gossiping about you. Someone could be talking about you being very fair and balanced, making the best decision for everyone in a situation. People could also be talking about how karma tends to hit people instantly when they try to screw with you or mess with your life in any kind of way. Somebody could be talking about wanting to fight you or a fight that you were in. Somebody could be talking about you being very stubborn, very headstrong. Somebody could also be talking about you being very trustworthy because you're somebody who does the right thing when it comes to situations. People could also be talking about how you're very optimistic. You stand out from the crowd very much so, how you're very different. Um, people could be saying that you're materialistic in some sort of way or you just really love the luxuries of life and what life has to offer. Stuck in the middle, stuck in the middle with you. D C O W Cow Dow P Downpour O Z Point of View K T Doc Talk Tick Tock. Oh. oh, uh, there's a song by LMI, I think it's LMI Shot Clock. You got 24 hours, P, POC, U, Puck, R. Somebody could be talking about you having chicken pox at some point. You know, they say you can only have chicken pox once, and then I got it a second time, and then they're like, oh, well, sometimes people get it twice, but that's it. And then I got it a third time, <laughs> Z, P, K, M, mock, G, mug, rug, pug, Y, N, P, porn, worn, morning, morning wood just came to mind, wood, took, pictures. Um, somebody could have actually taken some pictures or video of you without your permission in some sort of way as well. Morning glory, gory, story, pure, pod, poor, port, port key. In Harry Potter, they used port keys to be able to travel. Somebody could be talking about traveling or somebody could be talking about Harry Potter in some sort of way. Muggles, non-magical folk, <laughs> non-spiritual people. Roy, Troy, Pow, Powers, Pork, Torque, Cow, um, somebody could be taught somebody could be talking about eating meat or somebody could actually be a vegan or a vegetarian here you might be or the person talking about you might be toe mo Ooh. so let's see what we have here we have 
Arm yourself when dealing with this person. They're very two-faced and their betrayal will come out of nowhere. This sounds like somebody who is trying to make you out to be the bad guy in the situation that you were dealing with them in because you have walked away from them and cut them off. They look so innocent and they act so pure. Pure, like we were talking about earlier. Don't fall for it. They could actually even been, be using some sort of pictures or video that they have of you in some sort of um, position that doesn't look so good to back this up as well. This is probably someone that is upset that you refuse to trust them again after their betrayal. They don't want you to make new friends and they could be very popular where you may be more of a mysterious loner. Allow the real you to be seen and heard and know that the truth will come out in doing this. For some reason, I left my water across the room and I had to go get it. Pygmy. So sexy, fiery, and passionate. You catch a lot of eyes and a lot of attention. Your vibrant and confident energy brings the world to life. Always ready for an adventure or a night out. So there could also be some jealousy here from some of these people as well for the amount of attention that you get. There's definitely people talking about how you're sexy, adventurous, ready for a night out, love life for the party, very fiery, very passionate. People could be talking about your sex life a fair amount as well. You enjoy life's pleasures and you are great at living in the moment. You make others forget their worries and their cares. You bring life to others. Stuck in stagnant energy doesn't stand a chance with you around. So you're definitely somebody who enjoys having a good time. You enjoy going out and having fun. Um, at the same time, I feel like you're somebody that takes care of your energy. You don't necessarily give yourself away to anybody and everybody. You're definitely the type of person that people have to work to be able to get a position in your life in some sort of way. And you don't just give yourself away for free. So once again, with that jealousy energy, I'm feeling a lot of jealousy energy, jealousy of your ability to still remain very pure, even though you enjoy life's pleasures, you don't overindulge in them. So these could definitely be some of the people that are discussing you could definitely be people who overindulge or people who are running around with a lot of different people on a regular basis. Um, these could also be people that are kind of two-faced and that could be the reason why you walked away from them, but they're trying to get people to think that you're the two-faced one. You're a betrayer. You're somebody that they can't trust. Things like that. They may not want you to be making new friends and stuff like that. They may not want to lose the ones that they have because of judgment and the night of rats as well. People may be saying that you show the world one thing and you hide the others. People, you may also be somebody who's very beyond reproach in a lot of ways. Some people could be saying that you're very judgmental, um, uppity, kind of uppity. Other people are saying that you're a very down-to-earth person. You're somebody who tries to take the high road. You're somebody that um, is very open-minded in a lot of ways. That's the reason why you were friends with these people in the first place is because you're a very open-minded person. You're a very accepting and loving person. And these people kind of pretended that they were your friend to get close to you and hurt you. So there could definitely be people who know that and are talking about that as well. Page of Cups, The Fool. The Nine of Cups, you're somebody very emotionally stable and strong on your own. You're very fulfilled without needing, needing anything from the outside. So you're somebody who can really spend a lot of time alone without too many problems. And people are talking about that as well. Some people may be saying that you're selfish, but that's only because you're somebody who really does take care of yourself. And some people see that as selfish. You're also somebody who likes to take leaps of faith. You're somebody who believes in yourself. You believe in your ability to fly. You believe in yourself to be able to make decisions. 
You're also somebody who looks inside of the mirror. You may be somebody who judges yourself harshly at times. That could be that judgment energy that people feel coming from you is where you judge yourself harshly. But even if you judge yourself harshly, I don't feel like you judge the outside world as harshly as you judge yourself. But sometimes people may feel like they're being judged by you because of the fact that you hold yourself to such a high standard. People are also talking about how you're very silly, fun, you really enjoy a good time, you um, wear your heart on your sleeve, you express your emotions, things like that. People are also talking about how you're able to go with the flow, you're able to allow things to unfold naturally, a lot of your wishes come true a lot of the time because you don't hold on to them so tightly that if there's a need for it, you're willing to fight for what you want, but at the same time, you're also willing to just go with the flow and allow things to happen. You're somebody who's very protective of the light that you have inside of yourself and the beauty that you have within because you have been taken advantage of and hurt in the past. People definitely see this. They also see that if they mess with you, they are definitely going to regret it later. Some people may say that you're very poisonous um, when you lash out at people. The wounds you leave are very deep and can affect them over time. But I feel like the only time that you actually lash out at people is generally when people are using or abusing you or hurting you intentionally. I think that you have a very hard time understanding why people would do that a lot of the times because you're somebody who really doesn't do a whole lot of that yourself. And that may actually even be part of the topic of conver conversation as well. You're definitely somebody that people are saying is very fun, happy-go-lucky, um, willing to take risks, somebody who's very passionate and fiery, and somebody that really just is not boring. You're definitely anything but boring. There's always something new going on when you're around. People really enjoy your company. It always feels like a party when they're around you. People love talking to you. They love flirting with you. They love being around you. And there's a lot of people who may even tell you that they love you. And you may tell a lot of people that you love them as well. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Whether or not it resonated. What you might be going through. Things like that. And if you guys did enjoy this reading, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, donate, or leave a timestamp. All of those things are great ways that you can give back energetically for the energetic healing sessions that I bring to you guys. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you who support me on my path as I'm here to support you on yours. I have my Amazon wish list, PayPal, and Cash App all in the description box below, as long, along with my P.O. box because somebody asked for that at one point. So if you want to be able to send me anything on any of those ways, you can. And I really do appreciate you guys for that. And I will see you next time. I hope you have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile 2. For you guys, let's see who is gossiping about you and what they're saying. So, we have Cancer. For a fair amount of this pile, I'm feeling like your family spends a lot of time talking about you. Capricorn, siblings, definitely siblings. Virgo, younger and older siblings for a lot of you. People could be talking about how you are definitely a very good homemaker. Um, people could be talking about you being a caretaker. The person who's talking about you could be a homemaker or a caretaker could be somebody with addictions here as well could be some two-faced energies by the way that was not Virgo that was Gemini but maybe Virgo needed to come out for some reason as well people could be talking about you overthinking things um, people could be talking about you being very reliable or responsible feeling like you're very responsible for everything that has happened for some of you people are talking about that as well um, people are talking about your intelligence level. You're very intelligent, very charismatic. You're also a very hard worker. You're definitely a hard worker. You may take on a lot of responsibilities. So people could be talking about how you take on a lot of responsibilities. Some people may even be saying that you're a workaholic as well. And the work that you do is for your family in a lot of ways. M, L, B, Men in Black just came to mind, Major League Baseball. 
um, Bureau of Land Management, BLM, LQ Lab, NQ. You could definitely be somebody who does some kind of um, forestry work or some kind of land preservation type of work. You may play a lot of sports as well. L, C, Z. You could be dealing with somebody who plays baseball or softball. D, Z, S, W, W, I. I will say, you know, the personal readings I do with people, and you can find my prices for that in the description box below. The personal readings that I do with people it's amazing the differences that it makes talking to somebody one-on-one. -on -one. I really enjoy doing the video sessions through Skype because everything is so much more clear when it comes to that. W-I-E-J-D-I-J-E-D-I-A-N-G-D-I-A-N-G-D-I-A-N-G-D-I-A-N-G-D-I-A-N-G-D-I-A-N-G-D-I-A-N-G-D-I-A-N-G-D-I-
people would actually dig into it. They would notice it. They would realize it. They would see the truth. Um, this could also be somebody who's having an affair that is talking about you as well. Um, it could also be that maybe this person's marriage fell apart and so they're wanting yours to fall apart or your partnership to fall apart. This person may actually be trying really hard to get between you and your person in some sort of way. This could even be somebody who tried to convince you that somebody was having an affair on you. They wanted to make it harder for you to go after your dreams, if that's the case for some of you. That's going to be a very small amount of you. You are always two steps ahead, like you know what's coming before it even gets here. It's scary sometimes how accurate you are. Your vision is amazing in comparison to none. So, you could have actually told somebody that somebody else was having an affair. And nobody believed you um, until until they found the proof that's why I was feeling like not everybody was going to be dealing with somebody who was talking about them having an affair it's there's different stories here maybe that's why I felt drawn to mention personal readings and if you need one you know where to find them you are an amazing cook I swear that you heal with your cooking powers just the smell alone makes my mouth water I wish I could eat your food every day so there's definitely a lot of people talking about you and the gifts that you have the abilities that you have um the way that you are able to really know things before they happen um how you can put things together very easily. You can connect the dots. And also how amazing your cooking is. Um, some of you may actually be opening a restaurant. Some of you may be getting into a spiritual practice of some sort. Some of you may actually even be combining the two in some sort of way. I do a lot of that, but not in like sales. But somebody could actually be like opening up a healing restaurant in some sort of way. That would be a pretty cool idea, honestly. Take that idea. Run with it. <laughs> I have a lot of them. I can't possibly fulfill every one of my ideas throughout my lifetime. So what else is there to do but let other people take them? And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Now, taking the ones I'm working on and trying to make them your own and giving absolutely no credit for it, that is not okay. Make sure you give credit where credit is due. Make sure that you give back to the people who give to you. The High Overseer, the Hermit, the Artist. So somebody could be talking about your artwork as well if you're an artist, or this could be an artist. Um, you could definitely be an artist in a lot of different ways. Me personally, I feel like everything is art. Pretty much everything is art. Chemistry is art. Cooking is art. Sewing is art. Painting is art. Um, drawing is art. Writing is art. There is so many different art forms in life that... Crafting is art. There's so many art forms. Photography. Anything. There's so many art forms. Even communication is a type of art form or um, for some people. It depends on what you put into it, that kind of thing. But people are talking about the art that you create. People may be talking about um, the hidden qualities of you as well, the things that you don't show to the world. People could also be talking about how you like to spend a lot of your time alone. Tortured artist is coming to mind. Um, somebody in a position of power and authority above you may also be talking about you as well. Um, somebody could definitely be looking down on you. Somebody may have been... Um, saying things that just were not very good about you in some sort of way. You have had to fight very hard. You've had to stand up for yourself. You've had to defend yourself. You've had to set boundaries in a lot of ways. Um, you dealt with your heartbreak alone. You looked inside of yourself to understand what was going on with you and to heal yourself. You took time away. Instead of blaming it on everyone else, you are somebody who um, deals with those things within yourself. I also feel like there is definitely people talking about how you are going to create a legacy and make a lot of money, a lot of financial stability. You're going to have a lot of comfort in your life. You also have a lot of loyal, strong, stable, solid people behind you. Some people could be talking about your family as well and how you have been heartbroken by your family because of their materialistic nature and how they didn't support you in believing that you could make money and doing what you're doing. They just wanted you to go off and get some sort of minimum wage job and do it that way or something. They wanted you to live the struggle life and to continue that way. 
And when you're going after your dreams, you may live the struggle life for a little while, but at the end of the day, you're going to be living the high life higher than most of the people around you. And people may be discussing that as well and that you are getting to that point where everything is really going to be paying off for you. You're very poised, very dignified. You have a lot of integrity. You're very patient. You're very stable and strong and grounded. Um, I feel like a lot of people have tried to cling on to you, tried to hold on to you. There's definitely people talking about how people were afraid to lose you and didn't want you to be doing the things that you're doing because they didn't want you to be moving forward and moving away from them. They did not see your loyalty and commitment to the people that you loved and cared about. But I feel like you were creating the things that you were creating in your life, not only for yourself, but your family as well. And so there may actually be some people that are in regret over this. There could even be a previous boss that may be talking about you as well, somebody that you had to defend yourself against in some sort of way. You definitely have had to um, set boundaries. You've had to learn how to set boundaries. You've had to really fight for what you want, and you've had to really um, hold on to the passion within you without much of it coming from anywhere outside of yourself because there's been not a whole lot of support, and that people are discussing that as well. <coughs> So that is pretty much what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonated, what you might have going on. And if you guys did enjoy this, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, donate, um, leave a timestamp. All of those things are great ways to give back energetically for the energetic healing sessions that I bring to you guys regularly. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you who are here to support me on my path as I'm here to support you on yours. So thank you for whatever ways you do that in. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye guys. Pile three. So for you guys, let's see who is gossiping about you and what they are saying. So far today, the gossip has been pretty mild. People are kind of calming down, it seems like. So let's see what's going on with you and your people. Cancer, imaginative. Taurus, trustworthy. Aries, Taurus again. Somebody could be talking about somebody who had a chance to defend you and did not. Somebody could also, it, it could definitely be people that you have dealt with in the past, um, relationship-wise, friends with benefits-wise, um, things like that. Virgo, Virgo. For some of you, siblings or in-laws. But I'm really getting a lot of it is past people that you have dated could definitely be family as well though could definitely be siblings or in-laws but past people you dated or like friends with benefits or something along those lines is the biggest thing that I'm feeling for this pile um people could be talking about fights in your life arguments in your life chaos conflict or drama that has been caused in your life people could also be talking about the words that you speak and how much inspiration they bring to people People could be overthinking situations or thinking that you're overthinking situations. People could be talking about how you're very responsible, very grounded, down to earth, maybe a little overly responsible. Um, that you love your family, you're very loyal to your family, you take care of your family. How protective you may be over the more, more vulnerable sides of yourself. People could also be talking about how you have a very thick skin and you're able to deal with a lot of drama or chaos or conflict um, very skillfully. People may also be talking about how trustworthy you are, how caring you are, how loving you are, how beautiful your energy is. So um, there may be some of these people from the past that are a little resentful or bitter or um jealous or upset that they can't have you back that may actually be trying to stop new things in your life but also I feel like there's a lot of them that are talking about how amazing you are and how they messed up their shot with you in some sort of way jiffy j y f j v junior varsity t somebody could be parts part of a sports team or was in the past f 50 Y, 15, you are fury, jury. Somebody could be really pissed off because of um, being judged by their peers in some sort of way. Judge, jury, and executioner. Somebody could actually be facing a jury. 
Somebody could actually be going through court in some sort of way. You could be going through court in some sort of way. People may be discussing this. Turn. B. C. Before Christ. A long time ago, something that happened a long time ago could be being discussed as well when you were a child, maybe even, and something you went through. X. Z. Z. L, sleeping, D, something could have happened while you were sleeping, M, N, S, Sun, Savage, the song Savage is coming to mind right now, I am the sun, you know you need me, but don't take too much, I'm gonna fade you like a rush, that song. I know I messed up the lyrics pretty badly, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Bud, dub, luminescent, murder, mystery, mystery, mystery machine, You're such a mystery to me. There's a song that has that lyric in it, but I can't think of what song it is right now. Budge. Bird. Birds. Fiery. Fury. Nick Fury's coming to mind too. Um, Somebody could really enjoy comic books or just superhero movies. Superhero, superhero and villain movies. Somebody could look like Nick Fury, either in the comic books or the movie. I know that in the comic books, he was white. In the movie, he was black. Eye patch. I know in the movie, he had an eye patch. I really didn't pay attention to comic books at all, so I couldn't tell you on that front. So let's see what else. They are non-committal and can't handle their emotions well. When things get hard, they're gone. They throw fits and they need to grow up. Ask yourself who in your life this resembles. If it's you, work on your trust issues. If not, and it reminds you of someone else, this person is projecting blame so they don't have to look in the mirror. So, <clears throat> if you're not the non-committal one, then this could be a person who's very non-committal and who was trying to blame you for why the situation fell apart. There's a new song uh, I've been listening to it's called protection I think I'll share it later on my timeline um, basically she's talking about how she's not falling for those guys with the sad eyes anymore because I always knew that they were gonna make me the bad guy and that's what this is reminding me of so these people could actually have tried to pin it on you when they were the ones running around with many multiple people and they really didn't have your best interest in heart to begin with but they didn't want to look like they were the one that was the bad guy they could have actually caused a lot of problems for you because of this some, the sum of all fears. A voice that is very melodic and amazing. Very talented sing singer and reader. Emotional and powerful in their speech. Captivating everyone who listens. You are so funny. No one can escape laughing when you're around. You are medicine for the soul and everyone loves you and the light. Everyone loves how, the light, how light the mood gets around you. So people really love your lighthearted energy. People are discussing how funny you are, how, how big of a sense of humor you have, how melodic your voice is, how amazingly charismatic you are, how people tend to watch you when you're speaking, listen to you, you're very heard, um, that you are an amazing singer as well. You are definitely somebody that people really do enjoy your presence, the light that you bring, the love that you have within you. And also, people may be discussing you being non-committal or um, throwing temper tantrums or just being walking away from things very quickly. You could have been very hurt in the past, and so now you know better than to stick around for things that aren't good for you. So that could be what that amounts to as well. The witch, people may be talking about you putting a spell on them. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. The Lord Regent. Somebody in a position of power may actually be talking about how you have put a spell on them. Because they can't understand how they are. Or maybe people are talking about how somebody in a position of power put a spell on you. Um, 
People could also be talking about your chosen belief system as well. People could be talking about you using witchcraft in some sort of way. The Hermit, the Eight of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. People are talking about how you have a lot of self-love, how you spend a lot of time alone, you take care of yourself very well, that you are somebody that looks inside yourself for an issue when there's an issue instead of blaming it on the world around you. So once again, these people that are talking this trash about you, if it isn't true, um, people know that they're only saying that to cover their own asses because at the end of the day, they also know that you're not going to talk trash about those people because you're busy looking inside yourself for the answers instead of at other people. People may also discuss you being a bit of a workaholic or that you study a lot, that you um, may be overworking yourself a bit or overthinking a bit, um, constantly looking over the facts or details of situations, or they may be talking about how you are stuck in a prison of your own mind, kind of overthinking things. People may also be talking about how you make them feel that way, like they are stuck and they can't move forward or like uh, they're unsure of how to approach situations with you, something along those lines. People are talking about you freeing yourself from karmic cycles and uh, curses how you're able to break any kind of spiritual warfare sent your way. You have a very high amount of power within you and you are very highly protected, which leads me back to that song, I Am Protected. Um, let's see if I could think of any more of the lyrics here. I don't deal with bad vibes. I don't mind cutting people off. I don't know. I can't remember the rest of the lyrics, but people may also be talking about you being a little bit sneaky or mischievous. People could be talking about how you play your cards close to your chest. You don't give everything all out at once. Um, you may actually take time to build up a situation instead of just jumping in it head over hills from the very beginning. You may actually take a little while to tell somebody that you love them. You may take a little while to build that friendship first. And some people may actually see this as non-committal, but it's not that you're non-committal middle. It's that you want to make sure you know who you're committing to before you commit to the person. So that could definitely be just a misunderstanding that people are talking about there as well. So that's pretty much what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you thought about it in the comments below, whether or not it resonates with you, what you might have going on. And I hope you guys have a well, if you guys do enjoy it, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a timestamp or a donation. Those things are greatly appreciated, and I'm very grateful for those who do that. It's great ways to be able to give back energetically for the energetic healing sessions I bring to you guys regularly as well. So thank you to everybody who's here to support me on my path as I'm here to support you on yours. And I really hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.